<laughs> oh, sound bite. Okay, well, we're here to defend council to housing. To kill the bill. To kill the bill, particularly in Camden, because it has such an impact on our <laughs> residents and their ability to be able to live in London and live and work. In their in their uh, in their communities, it will destroy central Bye. London. It's really important we stop this bill, kill the bill. Come out on the streets where we live, because they're the ones who can stop the sale of what's happening to our homes. Kick the property developers out. London is going to be a ghost town. We didn't build London to be a ghost town. We built it to be a community. That's what we're about. Without an address, you have. on the streets whilst at the same time there are empty properties tens of thousands of them within walking distance but these are of course the houses that are rich and if you attempt to squat them or occupy them you are committed to criminal but their collective income will be slightly over forty thousand pounds their rent as council tenants is about £160 a week. It will rise to about £650 a week. And you can imagine what their immediate reaction to this was. We'll have to move or we'll have to stop working. What kind of indictment of a Tory policy is that? using their political position yeah. to go out there and do anything. And we need to get them off the fence, and it's partly by proving that there is a fight, because we know that minutes, shadow ministers have been saying, oh, well, nobody except DCH. They brought to pop a conservatory up without planning permission. They quite like the idea of not asking permission to have